Hello everyone, this is Spot Number 3 and welcome to another monthly montages video. So today I'll be going over February 2017, and I know this video is late, to be precise, it's 13 days late. But, the reason for that is the following. First, I've had like a bajillion midterms for the past few weeks, and that takes priority over this, to be honest. So yeah, I was working on those. Still, I'm working on a couple of them, but I had some free time tonight, so I might as well make this video. Um, two, I've been traveling a lot. I flew on eight planes in one week. I flew to Austin and Houston, and then eventually I went to Spain. And there are trip reports of that if you want to watch them, but yeah. So that happened. So that's why I haven't been making videos. I did work on this while I was doing all that stuff, though, so yeah. This is the collection of occasions that took place in 2017 in the aviation industry, mainly the airline industry. So yeah, let's get started. And of course, usually it starts off with something not as big. February 1st, Sunwing revealed their RIU, Hotels and Resorts Livery. Now, uh, Thompson, excuse me, TUI, made a livery for this hotel. And apparently they're Canadian as well. I did that or I'm retarded. And it's actually like a travel service. Because there is it's still the travel service colors. Where it's a Czech airline. Well, it's actually a Slavic airline. It goes to like Czech Republic, Slovakia, etc. So it could be that. I have no idea. It could be either European or that. I have no just a clue. Um, February 2nd, Manas Air got their first Illusion, 62. Didn't know, didn't even know these planes existed, or that the airlines operated Illusion aircraft, but apparently the Illusion 62 is one of the more in-use Illusions out there. It's cargo aircraft, obviously, and Manas Air Cargo is a Kyrgyzstan airline, which is based in Kyrgyzstan, which is a country in mid-Asia, former Soviet Republic, so, yeah. On um, February 3rd, Transavia released, Transavia France to be precise, released their hashtag my pick on a plane, which is kind of neat to be honest. I wonder if like Air an American airline, like Southwest would start something like that, or Frontier would be cool, but I guess they're kind of sticking to their animal thing. So Transavia started this. It's a pretty nice idea. Basically, they take a picture, they put it on a plane, it's that simple. It's not rocket science, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Hopefully Southwest or someone will do that. Here's something a bit big on February 9th. Uh, the Airbus A330. 30 Neo, the skin of that was just came out. Um, it has no engines or anything, but it still has the paint job. And you can see it looks a lot... It kind of looks retarded. Um, that's kind of an overstatement. It kind of looks bad. Because normally I'm used to A330s with like the big flappy winglets. But these just have tiny little Air, Air A350 winglets. Which kinda, I find kind of strange. So it kind of looks like it's very fat and has little hands, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, because of the tiny winglets, but yeah, we'll see how it looks in a couple of years when they get unveiled. Here was something new that everyone was yapping, yapping about. February 9th, Air Canada released their new livery on two aircraft, the 787 and the A3, 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 can I speak? No, A321. I had a big unveiling in Toronto. It actually looks, I'm, uh, I don't know how I feel about this livery. I mean, sure, it looks good, but, in my opinion, it sort of mm, has a retro feel to it. I think it would be nice if um, Air Canada did like a retro scheme and had this as one of their retro schemes. Cause it looks awesome as a retro scheme, but I wouldn't like seeing this on a few planes. Like, for example, a Dash 8 would be kind of strange in my opinion because those are the only Air Canada planes I see in Detroit. So having a black Dash 8 would just remind me of the times when Air Canada had that ugly black livery. But it looks kind of better. I mean, some planes, like for example, some in some liveries it looks better than the others. Like for example, on A321, this right here looks much better than it does on the 787. On the 787, it doesn't really fit, uh, since it's so like slim and Dreamliner-ish. It's more curved, to be honest, than the A321. A321 is more rigid. This guy is more curved, like you can see. It's uh, the tail is a bit more wavy on the 787 than the A321, I don't know. So it look, kind of looks out of place, but yeah, it's okay. Do what you want, Air Canada. I'll, I'll, I'll be here. I'll capitulate to anything that you do. On February 8th, uh, Air Europa Express got their first new livery, HDR-72. They operated at HDR-72s before, and I don't think they had a livery at all. They were just either white or they didn't bother to paint them. So I guess this is their first HDR-72 in the new livery. This is of their new subsidiary, Air Europa Express, which will still operate under the area of codes and codes and call signs, so, yeah. February 14th, Sri Lankan got their first A320 Neo. Congratulations, another A320 Neo delivery in the bag. Uh, 
let's expect a lot more. And I'm also hoping for some 7, 8, 737 Maxes as well. Because that's going to be awesome. Having the, having the 8321 Neo and the 787 Max just compete. It's going to be awesome. On February 16th, I uh, think... Uh, I believe that's Valentine's. Don't quote me on that. Um, Emirates Sky Cargo unveiled their Valentine's Day livery. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to be honest. I really, I kind of like it. It says from Val from Emirates Sky Cargo with love. It's a cool livery. Got a rose up there, and it's of course the triple seven freighter. So it's kind of cool livery. I'm guessing they got rid of it though. Here's something though that wasn't really on many of the forums that I looked at. On February seventeenth, um, this was taken in Tel Aviv. Uh, the first Alaska Boeing 737 Next Gen P2F. P2F stands for Passenger to Freight. So it's a converted aircraft from 737 to Freight Passenger. So you can see it's still in the develops, but Alaska is going to be the launch customer. And they will eventually be uh, widespread to more uh, cargo airlines. They are looking to convert their passenger 737s into cargo ones because apparently they're different. Here's another big one on February 17th. Iran Air got the first A330-200. I'm glad that they're looking into more markets. In case you haven't said the videos, I'll say it again. The reason they aren't getting more Boeing aircraft is because the Congress blocked Boeing's deal. Because yes, even though we are a capitalist country, we still government still gets involved with government uh, business dealings. So they blocked Boeing's transaction with Iran because we still dislike them. But Europe's the European Union is free free to it, so they let. So they sent a couple A321s. Now they're sending A330s. So. Finally, they're updating their fleet. This, I didn't find on any forums except for the news websites like Aviation Geeks. I also found it on like some uh, tiny news organizations. But I didn't find it anywhere on my typical website. My typical website, it didn't have this anywhere on the timeline. But I found it on Aviation Geeks, so I just put it on. Because it seems very important. The first 787-10 got, got uh, unveiled. And I believe it was at a Trump meeting as well. Trump went to Boeing Field. If this is Boeing Field, I'm not exactly sure where they build their 787s. But yeah, uh, this was an, 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 an unveiling. There we go. And just in time for the Trump meeting. So yeah, there you go. Bit of fun fact. February 18th, first Shaheen Area 319. Converted from a Turkish airline. You can see it still has the Turkish reg, but that'll soon be gone. And it'll be replaced by a Pakistani one. February 20th, uh, JetBlue got their, got their, JetBlue released their bloop, blueprint livery. Which is sort of like cheating off of that fly, Kalui. I just forgot how to pronounce their name. Um, shows how much I care about them. But they're a um, low cost company in South Africa. Kalula or something like that. Um, they release liver just like this. It's called Flying 101 liver. It's amazing. It's so witty and funny. It's um, like this way up and it points up to the sky on the fuselage and then it shows like this is where the cockpit is. But it's sort of copy off that, but it's fine. I don't, I'm not going to give them hate for it. It's cool. It's a cool looking design, I'll be honest, but yeah, that's all I have to say about that. February 20th, Thai Air Asia Thailand, or Thai Air Asia, however you want to say it. At least they're King Power livery. I have no idea what this is about. Apparently it says King of Duty Free, so there you go. I think that answers your question, or my question at least. So yeah, there you go. Next, um, Southwest this isn't a really big deal, but I guess I put it in there. Southwest um, repainted their California one with the new livery. Now, I took a picture different story entirely. It's, well, I went to San Francisco once and I found the Lone Star one and still in the old livery. I took a picture of it and I didn't really examine it but once I, I look back at the picture and it's like just shred. It has like white splotches everywhere. It's like all dirty. It's got like scratches all over it. So I'm waiting for them to repaint the Texas Lone Star one to be as clean as the California one. So yeah, we'll see about that. February 22nd, this I, I also couldn't find on the forums, but I found an Aviation Geek, so I decided to put it in. Um, Korean Air got their first 789. Congratulations, at Korean Air. We all remember when Gemini just released that Korean Air 787 like years ago before the 787 became a thing. And that was kind of funny because everyone just bought it for no absolute reason. Well, because they, they couldn't get a 777 because no one would make a bloody 777. But they got a 789, so, or 787 just to replace it. And now they finally got their 789 in. Excuse me, man. I'm like constipated in my chest. Um, in February, there you go. Congratulations, Korean Air. February twenty fifth. Uh, this was a big deal. I found it on a cup on found it on a YouTube vlogging channel that does uh, vlogging European trip traveling. Uh, Brussels Airlines released their tomorrow Amar livery. I guess it means Tomorrowland because I can see it up here. And apparently, this was painted with a brush. You heard me. This 
thing. This beautiful aircraft was painted with the airbrush. So congratulations to whoever did that. Probably took up ages. I do not have that long of an attention span, believe me. So I was just giving up when I just did the beak because that would be hard on its own. So yeah, congratulations. Beautiful looking livery, by the way. Wouldn't mind if Gemini just made a model of this after all just for the lols. Just buy it because it looks awesome. Can you imagine trying to paint this on a tiny aircraft, 1400 scale? Man. That'd be my job, my dream job. So here are a couple route changes and additions. They didn't have much this last month. So Southwest began flights from Raleigh to New Orleans. Delta began flights to Nashville from Raleigh. KLM began flight to KLM. Now this isn't began, this is just going to begin. So KLM's going to start flights to Mauritius, which is an island in the Indian Ocean. It's a country, sovereign nation. Uh, Virgin Atlantic is going to start flights from Heathrow to Bridgetown, Bridgetown in Barbados. Now, normally they go to Gatwick, but I guess they're starting out Heathrow routes as well. And last but not least, Saudi is going to start flights from Riyadh to Manchester. So that, my friends, is February 2017 in a nutshell. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, rate, comment, share. Excuse me, like, comment, subscribe. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I do have a couple of videos on standby just because I was busy with midterms and stuff. Doesn't mean I didn't decide to make PowerPoints. I made a bunch of them. Expect a DC-9 video because that's the next air cra air course, air cra crash course aircraft coming soon. Um, I'll upload that either tomorrow or tonight. Um, I'll try and get it in. tomorrow Tonight as in February, March 13th. You can see it down here. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Excuse me. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to, get, trying to change it from rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Because two of those things no one does, which is rate and share. So I'm just sticking to like, comment, subscribe. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.